Hello, everybody, and, well, we, we can come to this brand new Gomer Play series. <laughs> As you can see, we're doing The Legend of Zelda. Let's find out what's going on, because, um, yeah, we got to have that authentic NES uh, thing here. Many years ago, Prince Darkness Ganon stole one of the Triforce with power. With power, rather. Princess Zelda had one of the Triforce with wisdom, which she divided into eight units to hide from Ganon before she was captured. Go find the eight units link to save her. Because, of course, and they tell you all of the treasures, some of it's like, spoiler alert. You know, it's, it's the same thing they tell you in the instruction booklet, I think, for the most part. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen the instruction booklet. Holy shit. <laughs> Ah, uh, but you get to see all of the items. This is all the stuff we're going to pick up, because we're going to... I want to say it's going to be 100%. For all intents and purposes, it'll be 100%, I guess. Um, everything you see on here is going to be picked up, of course. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any sequence breaking yet, because there have been times where I would go through this, and I would get, like, you know, just enough to get, like, bombs and a candle or whatever, and then try to go to level 8. <clears throat> Okay, so it's a new file. Um, register my name. O M E and R. <laughs> yes, and if you watch my uh, punch out test video, you'll know that my camera's in a better uh, angle. Um, and I'm probably committing one of the cardinal sins right now and using natural light for my lighting. But you know, if I try to turn on the other light I've got over here then uh, it's it's going to affect the camera a bit much. It, it's difficult to get a good angle here. Um, but I'll do my best. Hopefully you guys will uh, enjoy the video anyway. Uh, some people... I know some people will forego the wooden sword and just... and just go around, because there's like moblins that you can get into without any items at all. And I, I know there's like at least one, in which I will be going to momentarily. Um... <clears throat> then you can get into, then you can get like a candle and some bombs, get two heart containers, and then boom, you have the white sword. Yes, it is five hearts instead of six, like everybody's been saying. I don't know why people are saying that. Unless there's like, ow, leave me alone. Hmm. That reminds me of a really bad joke I heard in a Nintendo Power magazine years ago. You know, what did, what did Link say to Ganon when he was going after Zelda? Leave her alone! Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. I don't remember who wrote in that letter, but whoever wrote that in, um, yeah. You were a, you were a child, weren't you? <laughs> uh, I don't know. There, there are some childish jokes that I, I, I do sometimes enjoy. I mean, you know, come on. <laughs> I mean, you're talking to somebody who is actually currently enjoying the uh, new season of the Pokemon anime, uh, X and Y. Ah. Uh. Tactites! Ah, uh, they jump and... They jump, I shoot. Boom. So it's a jump and shoot thing. Yeah, this, that, that's the beauty of the original Zelda right here, is you don't necessarily have to go in any set order. It is really open world. Uh, you know, and it's actually one of the best things about it, in my opinion. And if we do this, do this, it, 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 ow. Ah, there we go. In fact, I'm actually remembering, like, years ago, it was like a special review I did of this exact game. <laughs> Give me that. It's a secret to everybody. Yeah, as a kid, I never quite understood what that Moblin was doing there. And why it was a secret that he was giving me money. I mean, granted, I could kill him and just get money as well, but wouldn't be 100 rupees. <clears throat> and if I'm going to make this... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm still getting over sick. Uh, so I apologize for that. But I get my first B item, and it's a letter. Which, to my young brain, that sprite looks so weird. It's like, what the hell? It was, you know... But now I understand more, you know, what it is and everything. Uh, oh, gimme! Oh, that was so close! I want to make this as much of a no-death run as possible. Uh, which makes me really glad I'm doing this on an emulator. 
uh, because every time you save the game, it, it the uh, count goes up. Ow. That one there. Okay. Move nah, Get out of my way, Armos. Mm, yeah. Get in there, grab this. Hell is that noise? God damn it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, so 150. Let's get to a shop. And avoid all of the moblins. Uh, level 2 is over there. Uh, there's actually a specific shop I kind of want to go to here. Uh, let's see. Up we go. Just so I don't have to worry about barreling through. Oh, fuck you. You know what? Fuck it. Stay over here so I don't get ambushed by those guys down there. Okay. Move, 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 move. Eee! So I don't have to worry about buying bombs. I've already got bombs. Ugh. So that's a plus. Oh, good. The stop clock. A power-up that'll never appear in any other Zelda game ever. What I used to do as a kid... I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate a little bit here. But what I used to do as a kid was... I would try and stop, you know, like, pause the game a little bit and see what color comes up. Sometimes, if you do it right, Link can look like Santa Claus. <laughs> or, or at least have Santa Claus's colors. We thought it was, like, fucking amusing. Um, I'll go ahead and grab the arrows. There we go. We still have enough for a blue candle later on. Which is good. Um, shit. Oh. Ah! Oh, you little shit. You were going to try and ambush me from down there off the screen. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I've actually got to remember to leave one enemy alive on certain screens. Hi. Uh, give me that. Give me that. Fuck you. Ah. Hate when that happens. Take anyone you want. Now, I don't know anybody who goes for the fucking red potion. Because you can still buy them. You can't buy heart containers, though. Okay. Um, yeah, we're at, we're, at, we're at a decent time right now. That's another advantage to this camera that I've got going here. Um, for those who didn't watch the uh, test video, I'm actually using a GoPro. <laughs> uh, GoPro Hero 3 is what I'm using here. Um... One thing I did notice in all of my testing was um, the audio was a bit hard to hear because you know you have to put it in a casing to have it on a proper case, you know, stand rather. And whoop, yeah, you're not gonna hit me. Okay, but uh, you have to put it in a case, put it on the proper stand, and I had it in like the super watertight case, <laughs> which muffled the sound like, which muffled the shit out of the sound. Okay, there we go. And it was like, yeah, it was really hard to edit that one together. Uh, I still managed. Uh, it picked up enough, but... But now I got a different casing on it, and this is all, like, technical stuff that, that I'm just pouring over with you guys while I, while I grab the f stuff for the first dungeon and, and everything. Oh, lordy. Oh, uh, and, and, and if I get too distracted by my iPad down there, which is kind of right down there, uh, I do apologize. I, I do have sight stuff I do need to keep up with as well. Ah, uh, uh, but anyways, candle. Blue candle. Once per screen, you can burn shit. Like right now. Burn it. Not able to burn again. <laughs> Until I go out to the next screen. <laughs> That's the beauty of the camera. I can actually show you a couple of things. You know, that like like, yes, this is what I am actually doing at this particular point in this particular time. Uh, I thought there was a burnable bush. I guess I got the wrong one. This one's burnable. Burn down the forest. Boy, this is really expensive. Is this really how you greet everybody? I mean, come on. And hey, that, that, that bait... That bait? Yeah, that, that, that's not as expensive as you think, honey. No. It's only 100 rupees. 
Ah, uh, now then. I believe it's that one. Yep. Boom! Second heart container. <laughs> There's like four or five, I think. Four, anywhere from four to six in the overworld. I don't remember the exact count right now. Ah! You little shits. And River Zolas. Not Zola, no, Zora, Zola. It's a secret to everybody. Yes, it is. Hey, everybody, there's a Moblin hiding in there. <laughs> because fuck Moblins. I just use you for your money. I'm a gold digger when it comes to Moblins. Apparently. Okay, burn. Hey, it's another Moblin. I know, you keep, I seem to be going, keep keeping to the same area so far. But this is where you go. I mean, at least this is where I go. When, when, when I'm starting up the game. Well, just starting out. You know, I like, I like to have the white sword before I go into the first dungeon. And it is very, very possible. You know, if you just do what I'm doing here. <laughs> Fuck you, Tektite. Fuck you, Armos. And... Speedrun boost! <laughs> uh, Lady of the Waterfall. This is why... This is where it gets a little more risky. That Lionel. I think that's what it's called. It's been a while. Holy shit. Um, get out of my way. Whew. Yes. Master using it. And you can have this. Now, see, here is... Uh, this might just be a translation error. By the way, five hearts. Hmm. Five hearts. I got the white sword. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I never got. I never understood why they say master using it. Master using what? Your other sword? Is is, is the amount of hearts tied to the mastery of the weapon you currently have? Because you know, I mean, if, I mean, if that's the if that's the case, that kind of makes sense, I guess. Uh Now another thing I can do. In fact, I might I might do that just to kind of show off a bit. Um, is to find... I know there's another 100 Moblin space that I can get to. Um, that, that I can just grab real quick. And get that much closer to getting the blue ring. Which, on the old, like, old CRT TVs and shit, it, he makes them look white. Or, well, his clothes look white, rather. Eh. Burn! But, um, but, but no, it's actually a very light shade of blue. Hence, blue ring. Which I always thought was weird. You know, on the CRTs. Because it's like, why is he white? He's not. He's blue, asshole. Whoop. I'm getting lucky with some rupees here. <laughs> ah, come here. Alrighty. Ow. Yeah, that is that is one thing this game does have against it, if you're not used to it, is the uh, controls. You know, you don't, you can't move diagonally. Your enemies can. Well, some of your enemies can. I'm sure you noticed, like, the levers and, and, and the P-hats earlier. Yeah, give it to me when I don't need it. Sure, uh-huh. Yeah, but there, there are plenty of enemies that move diagonally just like, oh, what? Oh, oh. They're like, oh, you're confined to a grid? Ha ha, we're not. And this game's goddamn bats are among them, by the way. Uh, I want to say one of those... I don't remember if it's this one or the second quest that has a thing here. Maybe it's the bottom one. Or maybe it's a whole different screen altogether and I'm just being an idiot. Well, well let's find out. Yep, I'm just being an idiot. <laughs> Ah. Okay, here we go. There we go. Pay me for the... Oh, fuck you! Fuck you, dude. No indication. It's, it's, it's a money trap. You see these guys a lot more often in the second quest. Here he is! 100. That's who I was looking for. 
I could still look around, explore a little bit more. There are some, there are some ways, areas that it's hard to get to without certain... Hi! Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Who are you? Oh, yes, a moblin! It's like, I knew there was one here, I just did... Ten! Hey guys, your buddy's in there hiding. <laughs> just walk away. <laughs> Can you imagine if you could actually do that in game? I want, I want to see like a recreation of this game where you can tell the Moblin's buddies where he is and like fucking betray him and shit. <laughs> you know, I don't know how often I would do it, at least before I got the money. Uh, but but I, I, I would probably pull it off a time or two. And you know what? Hell, you can take these dungeons in any order too, by the way. But for the purposes of this playthrough, I'm going to go in order. Um, I'm just doing a lot of overworld grinding and sequence breaking real quick. Um, that's, that's basically been this entire goddamn video. <laughs> and, uh, what do I do? Oh! So, yeah. These videos, I do want to try and keep... I do want to try and separate them by dungeon, if at all possible. Or two dungeons, depending on how quickly I get through one. Um. Or 20 minutes, depending. Um, where are we at on time? Oh, wow. So, I got about... F according to this, I got about four minutes left. So... So that's what I'm going to try and keep it to. <laughs> um, but yeah, we get a lot get a lot done in one video. Because this is how long I've been playing Zelda. I've been playing it since I was a kid. Uh, you know, I mean, I mean, I'm old enough to actually realize who Paul McCartney is. Oh, oh, beautiful trick. The door was locked as you went in there, if you, if you notice it. Door is open. Yay! You can actually buy keys um, outside of the outside of dungeons. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep that to a minimum, if at all possible, at least until I get everything that I need to buy from shops, and then I might buy a few until I get to level eight. Um, uh, so yes, level one, the eagle. You know, nothing too remarkable. It's a lot of blue, a lot of Stalfos. Oh, there we go. Alternatively, I could have just walked into him, taken some damage, and taken his key. <laughs> it's like an early form of uh, item theft. Let's see, is there one here like that? No. There's got to be one other one in this dungeon like that. Let me see. Nope, not in this room at least. Hey, fairy, come here, come here, come here! Yay! Yay! I always thought as a kid, I thought you were eating the fairies. And no, not in the, not in the, oh my god, you, that was so good sense, in the nom sense. Fucking bats. Fucking keys. That's, that's something I've been wondering. Is it pronounced keys or kese? Because yeah, I've heard it pronounced both ways. And yes, I do know there, there are some bombable walls. <laughs> I will show them off in a moment. Ah. Uh, Gels. Little guys, and you just hit them. A lot of the smaller ones, the keys, the gels. Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. Is the secret or holds a secret? Your translation sucks, old man. Uh, of course, that gives you a chance to learn about block puzzles, or block switches, rather. It's not so There's no real block puzzles in this game. Okay, come here. Come here and die. There's your map. And as you can see, it's a bit of an eagle. Though if there were two extra rooms on the left, um, that could be... Okay, now see, there's the one Stalfos there carrying the key. Walk into him. I get the item. Take a little bit of damage. But I stole from him. <laughs> uh, okay, Goriahs. Who, for the life of me, remember? Keep in mind, when I was playing, I was playing this as a kid, but they looked so—I always thought they looked so weird. But because, and 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 I know why they look so weird because I didn't see them as the anthropomorphic rat men that they are. You know, and that's how they're designed. They didn't look that way to me. I was a weird kid. Uh, but down here we have the bow. The bow, and I don't mean Clara bow. So with the arrows, I bought earlier. I now have the bow and arrow set. That's going to come in handy later. Eh, traps. 
indestructible traps. <laughs> I wonder if there's some mod out there, like like some uh, ROM hacker out there, actually gave those things uh, hit points and, and a hitbox and all, well, a damage box, if you will, uh, for lack of a better term. Anyway, as I said, um, bombs, I know that this wall, bombable, And hello, Goraya. This wall is also bombable. Boom. Yeah, I may as well keep the bombs up for now. At least until I get the special item I'm going to get here. Yes, level one has two special items. And there's the other one now, the boomerang. Can stun enemies, can kill smaller enemies. Eh. Oh, dear. Ooh, wall masters. If if one of them gets you, you are going to be taken back to the beginning of the level. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. There is no appeal. You are the weakest link. Do not grab that. And, and if you're trying to beat a whole bunch of them to open a room door or whatever, I didn't have to in this one. Do not grab that stopwatch until after all of them are done. Uh. And here's the boss, Aquamentus. Yeah, no special music for you. Uh. Oh, well. And if you're going for minimalist, uh, good luck. <laughs> but now I have six heart containers. The first boss is beaten. And we have the first piece of the Triforce. <laughs> Yay. You little dance. Okay. Okay, you're not going to interrupt my closing spiel here, so fuck you. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That's it for this video. Uh, we got some. We got some really good progress done. Uh, we got the first piece of the Trice Force. We got some bombs. We got the white sword. We got the candle, the letter, the bow and arrows, boomerang. Woo! And there's a lot more to grab along the way. Uh, so the next time we're gonna probably gonna see about getting that blue ring and then going into level two, um, two and three depending on time. Um, so yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.